So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you one of the positive news from the IT industry. So before we move further, I would request you to please hit like button and share this positive news covering video with each one of, with many of your friends and with each one of the member in your network. So before we move further, I would like to share with you a product which we have been creating on the interview questions. So this is a product in which uh, we have shared how to answer if this particular question is asked, explain your contribution in the automation framework. Now, many of the times candidates are unable to answer such kind of questions and then they get rejected for the interview. So it becomes very important that uh, you are able to answer such kind of questions. So this is a product available at a very nominal cost. So you can avail it right now and it would also assist you in clearing the software testing as well as for automation testing interviews. Now, let me go quickly to the positive news and the positive news is within the Lucknow UP, there, are, there is a possibility that 15,000 jobs or more would be created because there are a few companies like Genpact, there's a company like Excel Technology who is willing to come to that particular cities and they are looking forward to expand their industry and the city itself. Now, before that, also, I would like to tell you how this kind of good news will be coming. So we have a source, we have a data with us. It is not something that I'm shooting out in the black and I'm telling you. So it is a kind of a real time things that you need to understand. So let us understand the logic. So before the good things to happen, we need to identify what are the bad things or what are the negatives that is impacting the IT industry right now. So let us see all those negative things one by one. So one is the higher infrastructure cost. So if you see, whenever the IT company is being developed, there is a lot of infrastructure costs as associated with that particular companies, with those particular industries, right? So if you are trying to create an IT company, if you look at the IT companies that are located in some big metropolitan cities like Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, Hyderabad, or obviously the cost of living in those particular cities is too high. Hence, the cost of infrastructure would also be too high there. At the same time, as there is, as there are a lot of these kind of companies in those big cities, the, the attrition rate is also high. Okay, which is again a concerning point. So imagine a company which is a kind of a service-based company. They are providing projects. They are providing the work to the clients and there are many other companies there. So if the attrition rate is high, definitely it will impact their business. They'll have to get someone outside, someone from the outside to replace the existing member. Right, so attrition rate is also high. Even the salary, the perks is again too high because if you see the experienced people, they won't be willing to set back in the low amount of salary because they are also works living in the same city, which is having cost of living is high. So that's why everything is high. So higher infrastructure cost, attrition rate is high, salary is high, perks are high. You have to make sure that you also allow companies to do work from home, sorry, employees to do hybrid work from home or even remote kind of things, right? So these all things you have to avail you have to give to the employees to make sure that you as a company stay in the competition with the other companies so that's a problem with the metropolitan cities or with the big cities in which the companies have already now got established so these are few of the negative things these are few of the things that are being impacted by the companies so think as an it company perspective here so now if they are going to the tier two city like lucknow recently you would have heard the news about GCC is coming to the India and they are going to establish their centers in a city like Lucknow, Indore and so many other cities like Jaipur is also coming into the picture right now. So when the companies would be setting up their industry, their offices in the tier two cities, automatically these entire things would be coming into the control. So this is actually a master strong which is being taken by the IT industries and now not only that but appealing the advantage using the advantage of some this particular thing the companies like Excel Technologies and Genpact they are going to create 15,000 jobs in the city of Lucknow itself. So it's a very true news that has come up and uh, it's 
not only Genpec, but it's also CP Technologies, right? So CP is looking for the office in uh, Gomti Nagar extension, which is there. And apart from that, a proposal for the multinational teleformance, teleperformance company, it is also coming up. So there is a there is a discussion going on. There is a conversation going on. So recently, it has also been a uh, talk that this particular outsourcing might be set up in the city of Noida or it might be in the city of Lucknow as well, right? So this is in talks with the state government as of now. So the buzz in Lucknow speaks for the larger trend of the IT firms and that's a very good positive news that the IT firms are shifting focus to the tier two and smaller cities to not only uh, boost the number of job opportunities, but it will also save on infrastructure building, maintenance, and it will help them to stabilize attrition as well. Right. So there are a lot of industry experts. They have also told that uh, this particular trend would be continuing. And now on the same lines, you have Cognizant, you have Infosys, and you have Accenture company as well, who would be coming up towards the cities like Jaipur, Pune, Coimbatore, and Lucknow. So these are all the cities which are a strong kind of, uh, I would say, the contenders for having such kind of companies. Right. So interest of the IT companies is moving towards the tier two cities. This will help them to reduce the attrition as well as it will help them to gain more and more profit margin. And it will also help them to do a good kind of investment nearly somewhere around 400 crores to 800 crores. And not only that, but because of such kind of things, the opportunities would be there for the people and nearly 10,000 to 15,000 jobs will be created. So this is a uh, great news that has been coming. Now I know this news might not be uh, sound, you know, very positive to you. So what I would suggest is if you think that I'm sharing the fake news or I'm just sharing the goody goody news with you every Sundays, then you can also see the Times of India. You can also go through the LinkedIn, such kind of news, such kind of articles have been shared. So this, kind of news, these kind of data, whatever I am sharing with you, I have evidence for that. And it's a valid evidence. It's an authentic information that has been shared. So I would request everyone of you to please hit the like button on this particular video so that it reaches out to the maximum people because this is an official news and it might take some time to to for, for this particular development to happen. But so far, if you will see, this is actually one of the very positive news that has come up in the IT industry. And which is why now the things like recessions, the things like layoffs, the things like cost cutting would be in control because now the IT companies are shifting their gears. They are shifting their targets to the another alternatives to a kind of a workaround that are possible in the market. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And before you leave, I would request you to avail this uh, digital product, which is available at a very nominal cost. And as today is a uh, Guru Purnima, so you would be having 50% off discount available on this particular product. So you can avail this product today itself and you can get, you can make yourself ready for the job opportunities or the interviews related to software testing automation testing. Right. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.